Good morning. Hey. Good morning. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you are here at Design Tips. And, and Giggles. There we go. Also that part. Giggles. And Giggles. Mm -hmm. Man, it is July 9th. Today is July 9th. This is episode number 723. Yeah. Gave that up a long time ago. <laughs> I was like, I have no idea. I'm just <laughs> But you know what? We've almost been doing this for a whole year. Almost. 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 Not sure what it's got this, except for we get to hang out with some awesome people every Tuesday. That's what we like about it. Talk about our birds. Okay. Have you and bought fonts? Them? And yeah. we get to talk about fonts, my favorite yeah. subject, besides clip art. We haven't bought birds for a while. I was reading on the Google. Because oh. uh, that's what I, I peruse Google in my spare time. Actually, my phone tells me every day. It's like, do you want to just go on Google right now? It's like, girl, calm down. I will Google when my brain tells me to Google, which is apparently frequently. Anyway, so I was perusing the Google. And if you look up, like, when does Halloween season start? It's, it's. July 5th July 5th it's July 5th that's when Halloween season starts because there's no other like like commercialized holiday between now and Halloween there's oh. like there's there's right there's like Memorial Day and right, right, right the other one Labor Day um but no no like Christmas or Easter or anything huh between the 4th of July. They should July. have a back to school bird. I mean, what's. There should be one. Right? But... With a little backpack. Oh my gosh, Pam. That would be so I cute. would buy that. Right. I would buy two so they could go to school together because they're friends. You should buy three. I should, I should buy three because I have three tiny loves of my life. I love them. <laughs> She does. She's just having a hard time with summer right now. It's okay. Like summer is hard. It's, it's okay. Hard. Right. Every year I'm like, oh, I could do summer. I'm so good at summer. We're going to learn French this summer. Do you remember that? I don't know if you remember. Oh, you I know, remember. It was yeah. so, you know, remember? I was so young back then. <sighs> <sighs> Had such aspirations. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look at uh, it. All right. So where are we going shopping today? I'm just saying the only thing my kids know how to say in French is I'm hungry. And that doesn't help. Help. I wouldn't want people. Yeah. Or my sanity. So now right. they know how to beg me for food in multiple languages. And I just feel like I should have seen that coming. You know? Well, hey. Anyway, would you like to go shopping? Today? Let's go shopping. Let's go shopping. Let's go shopping. We're going to go uh, shopping. Yay. Ooh. And if you guys haven't been to Crave Fabrica lately, you're gonna work you're coming with us. Yeah. Oh, I'm on the wrong one. This one. <laughs> no surprise, you're on Teacher Pay Teacher. Surprise, I'm on Teacher's Pay Teachers. Look at how big my <laughs> look at how big and bulky my cart is. <laughs> oh, it's got six in it. She goes big and bulky. <laughs> six <laughs> things in there. Well, okay, but they're all expensive. It's like, yeah, over a hundred dollars. Oh yeah. That what's that sixty nine dollars girl? girl let's talk about it i will have like i will show you look oh at this. girl look okay. at this look at it it has pants it's mock-ups and it's like all these like bingo daubers which is good for bingo and then like it has the hand that comes with it so you can do like q-tip <laughs> painting and look at all these paints it's perfect oh uh, my gosh so obviously i just put it i just put it in my cart and I was like, I will think about, and look at all these included. And then there's going to be more. Girl. Okay. How can I not? So I'm just waiting for the sale. Whenever the sale is going to be. There has to be one, right? Yeah, there'll be one for back to school. There's, I think there's two for back to school. There's like. So you keep it in your cart God. until, until yeah. it's, on, oh, that is awesome. I yeah. love that. Especially the big things. Like the right. small ones, like this, uh, this one. I don't need to, ha I could just buy this. That's not a big right. deal. It's not, it's not a big deal, but um, the big ones, I just keep them and wait. 
and wait. Anyway, we're here to talk about Creative Fabrica because they have a Christmas in July sale. And I think I was reading that they give you like a, an actual gift like this. Do they? Oh, they yeah, yeah, you- they do. Yes, yeah. I read that too. Isn't that ridiculous? They're like, they're giving you like stuff to craft with. And I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't realize that people yeah, use Because majority things. of people on here do the craft. <laughs> we use it for other things. I use it for things on the internet. I've never crafted with what crafting no no but look at those sarcastic mug sublimation i want to i want to know how to do stuff like that everyone was thinking it i just said it oh my gosh that reminds me of okay so what are you going shopping for oh oh and if you guys don't do creative fabrica that this is the time to get the good deal do it i think my I think I buy a year, like every yeah. time they have a good deal. Yeah. I think I'm I'm good until like 27, 28. Yeah, because they always give you that. They always send you, oh, you can get this for another year yeah. for a really low price. Mm-hmm. So I think I'm good and for a couple of years. Let's see. Let's see. What's 55? I have to get my calendar or my ca- my calendar later um, um it, that's a calculator 55 wait how much is it for the whole year the 40 gift? something 47 yeah oh look it says right there 39 3.99 a month i was gonna google i was gonna look it up but uh, i don't need to oh look it says right there ha! okay so you could get it for four dollars a month which that's that's what i that's what i buy it for when i buy the special it's the 3.99 yeah i think too the first time I bought it, it was like nineteen dollars a month. Yes, and I was like, "Oh, such a great deal!" It's all the clip art I could ever want in my entire life. And now I feel like I'm still happy with Creative Fabrica. I still love Creative Fabrica, but there's so much that you have to like sift through to find yeah. good stuff. That like I'm like, that's okay. It's like they're paying me fifteen dollars a month to go through all the junk to get my free unlimited uh clip art you know that's what i feel like i do go there a lot for like fonts oh yeah and certain things but i have not used creative fabrica as much as i used to because i create my own images now so and so and when you create your images you are fixing all like the crazy weird things yeah and any good clip artist would fix that like amanda with the she has her etsy membership she yes. also goes through and fixes everything so it looks nice and it doesn't look so ai but um yeah the things that are like a dinosaur with seven legs it's like um you should have fixed that before you listed it you know but yeah so i would recommend and and they have their own their own you can like Oh yeah, they do the studio. studio. I try. I I was playing around with it a couple months ago, but I haven't been in there for a bit. They have like things now. Oh, you can they do designs. I I I haven't been in this part in forever. I just come here for the. I just come here to look for. I do. You just come here for the. Fonts. Uh, <laughs> the fonts. And clip art. And yeah, clip so- art. When I come on here, the first thing I do is I go to my personal product feed. I don't even go to all this. I just go to the people that I'm following and like what they've posted. Ah, that's usually what I like. Like, I don't like any of this. But look at that cute teddy bear. <laughs> I was like, that doesn't remind me of what um, best stuff would really no. look like. But hey, no, none of this is. It's not, we're not in a good place. This is a good one. I would yeah. create something with this. Yeah. And they have like, their whole thing is. Patterns. Patterns. Yeah. I love patterns. So like, look at that. Those are cute. And apparently they have cute clip art too. Yeah. Oh, those are cute. Those are cute. And see this lemons. I would totally make a lemon. I would totally use this. Oh that. yeah, I don't I know see why it says that. navy blue when this is very clearly black. Oh yeah, that do- that seems to be, huh? I feel lied to, but I've already favorited it. I've already decided. <laughs> All right. 
Let me see if they have a different one that they just like. No, they don't. That's the only one. I don't know how they can decide that, but whatever. Anyway, so we're here for fonts. I have a thing that I do. My children are about to come in here, so I'm sorry ahead of time. Um, I, I was just telling all my friends how you know French. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So is there anything you want to ask me in French? Je vom. All right. Go have a banana and, and grapes and get out of here. And please don't interrupt again. Thank you. Okay. Then a banana. Okay. Uh, a banana and grapes. That, banana. That's good bribe fruit. Listen, they've already had breakfast. Okay. They had cereal. They had oatmeal. I think everyone also had a bagel. Like, I feed these kids all day. And then, like, I leave for, it's been 20 minutes. And they're like, I'm so hungry. It's the end for me. <clears throat> you are not that hungry. <laughs> but anyway, so am I sharing my all right. app? Okay. I okay. Sorry. I won't laugh. I'm sorry. Yeah, I won't laugh. Yeah, that's a bold faced lie. But anyway, <laughs> when I do, when I look up fonts and when I'm trying to, like, you know, come up with my dream fonts, I, uh, I have three that I choose. And I know you already know this if you've been here. <laughs> uh, I do a heading, a subheading, and a paragraph. I try to do those three. I have three that are like my jam that I always use. Um, I have three on Canva that I always use. And I have three on PowerPoint that I always use. Um, So you pick your three and um, you can uh, like, so when you're doing like classroom decor, for example, you can switch around your headings and subheadings. I would keep the paragraph font because once you find a good paragraph font, there's no need to write. I agree. There's no need to change that up. So let's go looking for a good heading font. Yes. Let's do that. Let's see if we can find a duo that we like. So I usually just go to fonts. I don't go to a specific type (laughs) because I find that sometimes they don't know what they're doing when they classify their things. Uh, First off, I love this because it's colorful and fun. Um, I don't like the A. But I still love it. I still love it. It looks very nice. And you could do the capital A if you don't love it. And I love this. So right, this, probably that would, this wouldn't be good for like uh, a child facing thing, like classroom decor. I wouldn't put it on like an alphabet poster, uh, <laughs> for example. No. Um, but it's cute for um, uh, your listing pictures or um your instagram templates yes. that's a cute one so i'm gonna add it to my favorites and tell it how pretty it is next time i look at my favorites all right <laughs> that scrabble font one looks kind of fun i don't know if i would ever get it but that looks fun that does look fun you could use that for things i like that um i would avoid anything that's very yeah. clearly um a copyrighted idea like Lego. (laughs) This is obviously Lego. (laughs) Goal. Goal lay. Nice try. Yeah, they're trying to do the Lego (laughs) with a different word. Okay, people. Okay. 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 They're not tricking me. Right. Uh, (laughs) I like this duo font too. It's really cute. Um, but when I when I usually look for I'm gonna just just don't like that for t shirt. No. Uh when I look for um uh a nice font for a heading i like it to be thick and chunky like this or like this one this one's a really nice one i don't like things that are like this because it's kind of hard to read um this would be a good uh paragraph font although that would be actually the ease a little i don't like that but besides that um oh my gosh oh these are new releases i don't usually like to go to the new releases because it's kind of a mouge bouge. You can't always get a good feel for it. Like sometimes they're great, other times they're just trash. <laughs> you know, like I don't know how else to describe it. But yeah, I always I always shy away from the 
I'd rather have something that like it's on the top because a whole bunch of people have downloaded it. Right. And usually if they download it and it's crap, they'll say that in the review. So I can see that. Um, so I try to stay away, but this one's really fun. Yeah, that's the one that kept getting my catching my eye as well. The Sunlight Monday. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's pretty. All right, fine. Just watch. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so I always add them to my favorites so that I can find them again later so that I'm not like doing this now. Right. Um, I also really like this one. This one's really cute. I like the little this the things i don't really like little very much but uh once we everyone's so interrupted today <laughs> so we can go up here to like display fonts and oh gosh there we go i really like that rainbow memories i think it's because it's rainbow and i love rainbows it, it probably is because of the colors because i'm <laughs> I'm going for the super flower and the retro world. Those are more my uh, style. Yeah. Because okay. they're so chunky. Mm -hmm. I like chunky. This would be great for like if you want to make um, uh, classroom decor for yep. groovy. If you want to make groovy classroom decor, this is a great one. So super flower. That'd be great. And they probably have like uh, dingbats attached to it too. I would hope. I would think... Uh, they would have other and look at that one too. Oh. Um, but you can usually see you. Why doesn't it have like? Usually when they when they have the a font, it's like a they show you every thing that's included. Huh? Oh, wow! You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, my, yeah, my I do. Yeah, yeah but like I this. don't see it either. There we go. Oh. The there we go. No. This and this, but they don't have it with this one for some reason. No, someone didn't do all the someone their job. Do that Gosh, job. my goodness! But that's okay. It's really right. cute. It would be a cute for. Uh, this would be good for classroom decor. So would these varsity ones. Oh, that um, yeah, the varsity ones you like uh, doing because yep. uh, it's going to be a thing. I'm calling yeah. it. I'm calling it. I've I call. I called it last year too. You did, uh, but the varsity patch letters, man, I, I really want to learn how to make those. Um, I think something like this would be good for that because it has like all these different layers. Definitely, so you could like add something to the back here. I don't know. I don't know. I'd probably avoid most of these. Yeah, absolute blonde. That's a. Uh... Barbie. That's Barbie, and you don't, it's just, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. To, it's not worth it. But I like the sun. It's a good one. I do I, like that. I already liked it. Look at that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is a cute one. Dreamer Summer of Love. Hmm. Um, some of these are just eh, too much for me. But uh, I like to have like a big chunky font like this. Now, this one, like, like the I and the S being attached, that's a, a glyph is what they call it. It's not always going to be like that. Like, see, they have the I that's not attached. Um, when they're showing you what it looks like, they add all of those so that you can see all the different things that you can add. Um, but apparently they all have this, like, the letters that go underneath like this. I mean, oh, I cool. see what you're saying. Yeah. yeah, like the L, huh. and the R, and the huh. Z. So if you wanted to write like, uh, Pam is awesome. Thank you. Thank you for saying that. Oh, I am. So would do that with the S and the I. But I still like it. I still think it would look great. <laughs> for a, um, like, a, I wouldn't put this in front of kids. <laughs> I would put the, I would use this for, um probably instagram it would look yeah really nice. yeah i would too those it wouldn't be good for kids no but it comes with uh it's a font duo so it comes with this other one and i really like the basic like cursive -y fonts i really like those i think they look lovely 
we'd have to explain to the kids what cursive is because you know they don't do that much cursive okay. in school these days it's when you write and you just don't you don't pick up the pen you don't scribble don't scribble and you just uh yeah my kids love well my my oldest kitty she loves cursive she wants to learn it and yeah. uh, i think they learned it in third grade which you would think they would try to do that earlier than third grade, but my twenty-year-old does not know how to do cursive oh, at I all. I definitely learned it. I'm I did 20. too. I'm not twenty, but they didn't teach it in um, her school for some reason. Interesting. Hmm. Well, actually, it was universal. Like it was like not anything that they did. In... They must have taken it away for a little while because I know everybody's been throwing a fit about it for a while. Okay. And then they gave it back. They must have given it back because my kids are learning it in multiple states. Like nice. they're learning it in Virginia. They're learning it in Tennessee. Yeah, my kids did not. Hmm. And then, so when they get older, they're like, well, how do you do a signature? <laughs> we actually had this talk in our in our family. Wow. Like, and my daughter didn't know how to do a signature when she was 18. And I'm like, you didn't learn this? She goes, no. Oh my gosh. It was so weird. Okay, we, we're way off. Come on, guys. Woo, we. <laughs> it's just so pretty. It really is. <sighs> but side, you don't, you don't recommend tries. doing a lot of cursive with, if you're going to be working with teacher pay teacher and products and stuff, correct? Not in the product. Right. Not, unless it was, oh, well, unless it's for the teacher. If it's for the teacher, like if it's a, a planner, or like okay. something for the teacher, then that's totally fine. But if it's, um, and even like, 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 a, um, there's sometimes you do posters that are like, um, awesome work coming soon. Like you could do that right on, with that as well. I just wouldn't do like the alphabet posters unless you do like a very, like, this is classic <laughs> cursive, you know, like you could do that. I would not do this because it's pretty but it's not functional unless you're okay. like older kids maybe maybe older kids right but yeah and they don't teach yeah everyone says they don't teach cursive. that's nuts move to tennessee i'm here but yeah i was like okay my side of maybe i was just it was just weird maybe mm -hmm. we're just from a weird <laughs> area but not happy to hear a Go push ahead. here for it because i think that there's like a like a, it's a lost art and no one's going to be able to function because they don't know how to write in cursive or change a tire right. or write a check. And it's like, Google exists. Like we can figure it out. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> We're okay. We're okay. I'm more We're concerned okay. that my kids are good people. I don't, I don't care if they learn cursive. I mean, I care, but like, it's more important to me that they, you know, hold the door. Are good people? people? Are good people. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, okay. I don't care if they learn cursive. This is me. Ah, ah, ah. Anyway, this is adorable. Okay. <laughs> do not. Oh do not gosh, look at do that. Walt Disney World. Walt Ever. Melody. Walt Melody. You are a fool. Don't do it. Look at this groovy Halloween. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. And then more summer. Yes, please. Actually, yes, please. After my kids go to school summer for me not for them <laughs> <laughs> uh, and i like the simple cartoon i think that's really cute too uh okay there's that college retro uh-huh uh-huh retro magic magic vintage magic retro 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 right there's a lot of retro going on mm -hmm. college designer retro. <laughs> designer why do you, why don't you like lines? Why? Do you, right. How can you have an eye like that? If you don't have, how can you do that? How can you do that? They can do that. You can't do that. I'm telling them they can't do that. Uh, this one might be fun. This is pretty birthday party. I'm just like you. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. What were you going to say? You were excited to say something. I was, I was going to say, I like that one too. This one? Yeah. <laughs> uh, and this one is one that I um I uh I 
<laughs> convince I try to convince everyone to use Esquire because I love it. It's a good one. It's a good font. It it looks good. Like it's bold. It's a bold and chunky one. So that's a good one. Ask why. Okay, I'm writing that down because I like that one. That's a good one. It's my it's my favorite. Overthinking. Oh, I would love to. Yeah, that's me. That's me. Yeah. I would like this better if it didn't have these white bits. Yeah. I don't like that. Because if you use this and then you add like a like an outline like this to it, then it adds the outline to that and it just looks ridiculous to me. Um, so that's my thoughts on that. <laughs> Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Do not. <laughs> do not. <laughs> uh, this comic is fun. Yes. Let's open that in a new tab. I I want to have all the things that go around it though too. <laughs> like give me this bam thing. I like that. That's all in Canva. I recognize them. All you have to put in is They're all in uh, comic <laughs> and all those things come up. I love that. I love when you could be like, oh yeah, that's that's definitely yeah. Yeah. I, I know Just put that. comic in the elements and all these fun little things will come up. Okay. Oh, and it's a it's a good font. It's not like it weird. does. It looks like yes. All right, we'll add this to our list. All right. <laughs> so once you've gotten a bunch that you're like, oh yeah, this is on my list. I love it. Look at this. It's got Can you see how it. long she stays in here? Like, I bet you she comes in here and she'll just spend hours. Oh my gosh. It's, it's literally, it's how I fall asleep at night. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> like if I'm like, oh, I'm really tired. I'm just going to lay down on the couch. And hang out with the kids watching their stupid, I think right now they're watching Unicorn Academy, which is not stupid. It's a lovely little show. It's fine. It's great. But I will just scroll my phone and look at these fonts. That's what I'll do. That's what I'll do. Because that's how cool I am. I am so cool. <laughs> do you get, do you do fonts for Pacific um, holidays? Because I just saw like a, a Christmas one. Do you use like... Christmas fonts, Halloween fonts, stuff like that. I I don't. Okay, see, I there don't. we go. There's there you go. I do she not. doesn't. I mostly because I don't want to have to like redo something, but also, you know, okay, so I was talking with someone about um creating I wasn't talking with someone. I was listening to a podcast. It wasn't a, it wasn't a back and forth conversation. I was listening to a podcast about creating pin images and they were saying that you should create things for the season coming up. So like the same thing that you normally create. Oh, have fun. Oh yes. You better download fonts or else I'll be upset. <laughs> Please. Um, like if you, like, okay, so let's, let's just go to Canva for a minute. I want to go to Canva. I know this is really unlike us to ever go into Canva for right. Um, ever. Like, let's go like this. No, not this. Hold on. Hold on. It's like one of my craft ones, which. Oh, you downloaded my, um, my. Uh... The thing that you made for me? Yeah. Well, of course I did. Well, those. Yes, I did make those. But my. Um, oh, this one. That. Yeah, yeah, thank I, you. I do. I download when I see your things, I click on them. Oh, thank you. So I have them on my computer. I'm using them. I really like this. Um, the look of this, like uh, the painting look. Well, guess what? It was yeah. made in Canva. <gasps> what? Yes. I am shocked. I know. <laughs> That's so unlike you to utilize the tool that you've built your business on. <laughs> Tell me more. I use magic media. Huh. Right. I told her to give me a beach scene and it did. So there you go. Okay, back to where you were going. Sorry, I missed you up. Okay. 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 <laughs> so let's pretend I have this this cat craft. Let's pretend. Oh my god, this these are mine. so cute. Um, so what I would do is like you have this cat craft and then you just huh, you gotta click on it or else Canva doesn't let you do the things. I know, huh? It's so weird, but um I just duplicate it and then I would, you could change the font. So let's say we want to make this into like a Halloween font. Are there Halloween fonts on Canva? Let's I think out. so. 
drunken hour. Mm -mm, we're not doing that. We could do something like that. Oops. Oh yeah, okay. I've used Jeepers before. We need, to, we need to we need to click this and click here. Silly Beth. Okay. All right. Halloween. Scary stories. <laughs> I don't know how to use that for a craft. But uh, I think you'll get the idea of where I'm going with this. Maybe I shouldn't have picked Halloween. Maybe I should pick like um, school, like back to school. Let's do back to school. Like cat. Uh, I would pick one that's like thick like that. Um, we could just uh, pretend that that's what we're doing. Okay. Okay. So you're designing for the next holiday. So yes. you're just kind of, so what did they say? Because I, I said, need to write this down. You can, you can just like have your, your product. Like if you, like my product is crafts. So you could right. just, you could just, this is a picture of my actual craft, like, uh, somewhere like a picture of a craft. And then you just remove the background because right. Canva does that. And then you can put it on any background. So instead of like, this is, um, yarn. Yeah. Instead of yarn, you could just do like a uh, school. Oh, well, you can't do it here. You'd have to do it over here on elements. Okay. So what you're doing is you're saying, okay, you have your product mm -hmm. and then you're going to, you know, go in, duplicate it, however, and then change it up for the holiday season. Yeah. Just change. Gotcha. Just the gotcha. Or like if you have, if this is a printable, like you have the printable, you just make it look like it's for back to school. Right. Like. If so you could probably you put can. like pencils and stuff in the background. Yeah. And that's, I never thought to do that. Like, I was just like, oh, this is my, this is my picture for my shark. Like, like, right. This, <laughs> this is my picture. You can have the words and that's the shark and it's done. I never thought to remove the background and just put it on whatever I wanted to do. Like black cat C for Halloween. You could add a ghost, pumpkin, black cat, clip art to make it Halloween. Exactly. Like there's so many things that you could do to change this for every season instead yeah. of just having the picture that you took. Like it was mind blowing to me. Well, like, sometimes we need that. Sometimes we need someone to point things out because this, this is kind of a simple thing, but to be very cool. honest, would we like, would I don't think our head there by itself. Right. No, because, and you know why it wouldn't have, and it's not, it's nothing wrong with any of us. It's just that right. we are on like a, like a, this is what we have to do today. Yep. We are working on creating pins. I'm making pins for my product. This is my product pins, you know, like you don't think like I'm going to make, make a pin right. for three months from now, which is December or uh, the 10, which is October. I'm going to make a Halloween thing and then you just make a halloween one for all of your crafts that you have or make a halloween one for all of your products that could be halloween or and it's so simple to do it just switch out I things never, like yeah. you just switch out things background to move remover like that's all it is it's insane yep. to me it's insane to me it was mind-blowing i was like oh my gosh why why did i not think of that so that's something you could do we could do black I like that. I, I don't do that either. So I bet Lynn does. No, I bet she does. I bet Lynn does. Lynn does that. Totally a Lynn thing. I, it might have even been something that she said to me. And I It probably know. was. It probably would be. It makes sense. Yeah. So you could do letter of the week. Which, uh, the font. You, when you change fonts, make sure that all the letter, all the words that you put on it are still on it. Right. <laughs> Uh, yeah because uh, when you change fonts they don't they're not the same size people not the same size so we could just do that and then we could change this to be more of a uh back to school ish color like a red oh probably not red uh why i don't like that <laughs> how that a comes up like that and i like that it's rude but uh we could just like pick like a a bluer font or like a I don't know what would be a back to school color probably just the red the red blue and yellow but you know you just pick a pick a thing easy peasy I like yeah see craft you know it'd be really like time 
management. Like if you do your pins and you're working on your pins and you're like, oh, let's just do all the holidays right now. You could just do all the holidays. That's what all you could holidays, do. Have them done. Oh my gosh. You could do that in Canva. You could you do can. that in Canva because these are all the, like all the holidays are right here. Yep. You know, like. And guess what? You can use them. You can, you can use the images. And then you could just be like, okay, let's do this school. <laughs> Send it back. Kind of looks like my high school. It might be. It probably is. Oh my gosh. All right. So position. There we go. They moved things. I Pam know. Didn't. Pam did not. Pam didn't do it. It was Canva. Do you know I did get emails? <laughs> no, I had no idea. Yes, I knew that. Okay. I knew. Like, like personally, they thought that I changed this. <laughs> like, that's what I felt when I was reading. changed my Canva, and I want you to put it back. I can't. Yeah. Oh, thank you. But okay. anywho. Or maybe if you don't want to do this, you could do like a uh, lined paper and do that in the back. That's also back. Yeah. Create yourself one template of 15 to 20 pins, regular ones, holidays, just duplicate it each time you make a new set of pins. Nice. Make sure you name with holiday related keywords too. Good Ooh. idea. Good idea. Good idea. Lynn. I love it. Oh, I like that. It's very back to school. Right? Like graph paper. Oh. There's a child. I would probably oh. also change the. Uh, I see a child. Yes. He has feelings. Um, I'd probably change some of the colors so that they're not all the same. Maybe we'll do red. Do red for this one. It just seems so like menacing. Like, why are you yelling me? Oops, not position. Maybe we could uh, just use this, um, this pink. It doesn't want to, it doesn't want to put it there, but that's fine. Thank you. you know, it's, well, I like that too. Anything pink, I like that. I, you know, it's funny. I'm, I'm such a dork. I have, so I'm watching you do this and I'm like, well, why is this? So I have the meeting chat in front of what you were doing. I'm like, why can't I see this? Um, Pam, just click off the meeting chat and you can see it. <laughs> yes i thought it was your screen no i need Mm -hmm. more coffee Mm -hmm. you do yeah that's fact yeah so yeah look at that see look now you have back to school pins back to school pins easy as that it would be so simple yeah so simple do you think we'll do it with no uh (laughs) but like you can do that with crafts another thing you could do Another thing you could do, let's let's look at our products, shall we, Pam? Let's look let's at look at your products, not my products. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, so let's like the best products. So like this one, this morning tubs. You uh-huh. can take this product that you made and you could use, you know, something like this as a uh, oh my gosh, I love this product. I cannot believe that I made this. Gosh, it's so pretty. Look at that. Oh, it is very I love pretty. it. Look mm. at this. Mm-mm-mm. Anyway, so you could you could just use like these, like a white background. Like you could just remake this. You could take this, resize it to be a pin, and use that. Totally fine. Or add things behind it to make it more seasonal. And then you have more pins. And you don't have to like you can make pins for this page you don't have to like write a blog post you don't have to like make your product be on your website you can just use etsy or teachers pay teachers yes you question oh yes miss miss pam what does yes that, i have, have a question? question yeah question okay so just because it's early and my i'm not the okay coffee. yeah the coffee. Right. yeah so what you just said was yeah. to make a pin yes. for this particular page. Uh-huh. This, you, yeah. You put, so you create a pin, you put that pin on Pinterest with the link up there. Yeah. Or you could come over here to like, I, mm, okay. 
go to go to dashboard and I'll show you. I'm, I'm not going to show you my actual thing because I don't like to do that. Uh, and then you go to traffic, your traffic tab. There we go. You go to your traffic tab right here and then you go to URL builder and you can take the actual product that we just had, which is what it was like Apple something or other. This one and you apply and then you could say this is, you know, I like to put my name and then the campaign name, you could just say like um, Pinterest. In. Or I did actually a Pinterest and then I had the, the date that I did it. <laughs> Uh, just for funsies. You could do that and then it generates a link and then when, okay, so right now it's not working, but um, on this marketing traffic sources page, you can go through when it's working. It's not working right now. It's not working right now, but you can just assume. Hmm, it's not working right now, but when it comes back, <laughs> You'll be able to see, like, oh, people found this through, you know, okay, Beth Ann Averill slash Pinterest. Okay, that's something to yeah. think about. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I I got notes today, so this means that uh, I looked at notes. Wow. Like I'm I'm learning shit. This is awesome. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and then yeah, you just you know, make it however you're going to do it. Um, so done. I think this should be part of our batch slap, like what we, for the pins. So I'm writing that down too. Okay. Good idea. You write that, you write that down. We can show that penetrous part of it. Yeah. And then people will be like, man, you're so smart. We'll be like, yeah, I'll give you us. all the credit though. It's okay. us that's smart. Yeah. We should give Lynn credit. <laughs> oh, that's true. We should. <laughs> We didn't do this. Uh, oh, man. I thought I had. Well, maybe Lynn can come on and talk about it. <gasps> Lynn could batch slap with us. Lynn. Come batch slap with us. It's a Leo How Parton do you on. batch slap Pinterest? <laughs> batch slap Pinterest with us. We're going to Candy Mountain, Lynn. <laughs> Oh, my children. We my have too children. much fun. We do. Sharita probably was like, these, these women. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine all the people who watch, like, after, they're like, what did I just watch on YouTube? Right? <laughs> I think I'm done with the internet today. Who are these two people? <laughs> <laughs> these people are maniacs. Uh, so, yeah. If you are watching on YouTube right now, uh, on whatever day it is, after... Pam posts it. <laughs> Leave a comment and let us know what you think of this. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> Pam loves that. Pam loves. Yeah. Okay. Now yeah. what are we gonna talk about? What what are we gonna do now? Oh, um, oh, so once you get all these fonts that you like. Oh, by the way, retro groovy, great font. Great font. Um, sorry, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop now. I'm gonna so you go over to your favorites. And this is where you're going to find all those, all those pretty things that you did, all you grabbed. And if you're like me and you have other stuff, because you're like, oh, I want to create something about, <laughs> clearly solar systems is on my brain. And oh, yes. Yep. So um, <laughs> you can go over here and you can just click fonts and then you can only see your fonts that you downloaded or that you wanted. And if you want to see the ones that you downloaded, that would be your downloads. This one is a great font set too. This love wishes. I like that one. And bang, whack, pow. So the names though <laughs> are so... To say. <laughs> Huffleclaw. <laughs> Huffleclaw. And a typewriter. Look at that. Happy Keish Keisha. Keisha. Yeah. 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 Bubblegum font duo. That's a cute one too. California. Yeah. I can tell you like those little ones that the swoopy ones. I like the swoopy swoops. Yeah. And I like this one. I had this one for a really long time. Oh, you I did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is what I do. This is my this is my love language is font besides clip art. 
the central part, which I can also spend. Uh, we can talk about that for the next seven minutes. Okay. How okay. to find clip art on Creative Fabrica. Because if you're there like, we go. hey, I want... Um, back to school. Uh, back to school. First off, if you, if you do this, it's just going to give you SVGs. That's all yeah. it's going to give you. A bunch of SVGs. So if you want something like, oh, look at that. It's a pattern. It's so pretty. Um, let's say you want um, uh, school supplies. Clip art. There you um, go. You'll find some that works. And you'll find some that's very obviously, you know, um, AI generated. Um, what I do when I'm looking for clip art on Creative Fabrica is I always say clip art at the end. Yep. So do I. And um, if that doesn't work, then I will say clip art set. <laughs> and that will usually get me where I'm going. Yeah. Um, any combination of that, you'll find what you're looking for. And you'll also find a whole bunch of AI, which is fine. You just got to sift through it. You're only spending $3.99 on this a month. It's not a big deal. Right. Um, this is cute. That's cute. All right. And if you want to find um, uh, patterns, you just go to school supplies. Yeah. And then you come down here to, that's another thing I do is I go to like just illustrations. Yeah. And that helps me find what I'm looking for. Like, that's really cute. Can you click on one of these that you like and show um, the licensing part of it where you can find what you can do with it? Okay. Yeah. So it says here that it in includes the commercial license. And then if you scroll over this, it says it includes our commercial license. And then you can read about it by clicking right here. And then it shows you what like it'll show you specifics so yeah they're really good with that here's what we have if you buy the subscription you have a, subscri a subscription license you view and then it'll show you you're allowed to do this you're not allowed to do this for license summary and then this is physical end products so if you were to make cups for people right uh, digital end products this is us we are yep. digital end products you have to use the elements to create a new design. So like this is the original download. This is prohibited. If you add a whole bunch of stuff and colors and pretty, that's allowed. So that's yeah. their just, just don't do a one and done. Just don't do one and done. Add something. I like to try to put something on top of things. Yeah. I like to put things behind things. Um, when I make bingo cards, I do get that question a lot. Um, like, how can we use bingo cards if we're just literally putting a piece of clip art into a box? So behind that box, <laughs> you're going to put a, like, color or a, um, a, a, what is that called? Pattern. I put a pattern. And you can, like, lower the opacity. Yeah. So it's not like, oh, my gosh, that's, that's a pattern. But, like, put a pattern behind it so that it's not just the thing. And then... I also like to put the uh, text. If you can have the text overlay like a little bit at the bottom or something. Um, if it's like blue flower or whatever for bingo cards and flashcards. I try to do five things. Like okay. even if it's like changing the how it's there, um, making it bigger or smaller, just some things transparency even in canva you go to the uh elements not elements the um where you can change the different um, colors stuff like that so i mm -hmm. i try to do five things like five add changes. three things and then try to uh, man manipulate them a little bit more okay that's a good that's a good a good tip five things that's easy to remember because you have five fingers. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's the way I would find it. <laughs> Four? I mean, that doesn't mean anything to me. Five, I mean, to you know? Five. And I probably could get away with just doing four. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> that's cute. Add that. <laughs> that's right here. And I'm looking at stuff. She's like, what? Uh, what am I gonna make? That's something you could add to the back of your, of your cat, 
And then it could be a spring. A spring cat. <laughs> she says a spring cat. It's a spring there we go. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Easy peasy. Oh, and then if you wanted to do like patterns. So patterns are either under patterns, obviously. Uh -huh um or backgrounds but a lot of times when you do backgrounds it's just like um well this one's not but uh sometimes it's just like the it just shows you cups <laughs> it's like look it's a background and i'm like oh that's not what i wanted but like this would be a cute little mock-up that's fun but some of these are not very fun let's see patterns textures is another one that works for uh backgrounds if you have a, oh, I love using texture. Yeah. Love, love. And with textures, you can like add color to it. So yeah. like this white and brown one, and you could add pink to it, and then it would be a pink marble. Or like, you know, you know what we need to find, Pam, is we need to find what? that uh that Chanel that is on the um uh uh varsity patch letters. Oh yes. Uh, and put that into it. Okay. Are you going to look? <laughs> okay. okay. Um, <laughs> I think she was asking for my permission, but I didn't know. I didn't quite oh, know. Wait. How would you even look, girl? Chanel. Chanel. She's like, how do I spell it? I Don't ask me. I don't know how to look it up. Oh, see, that looks like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> never seen one of those before there like we go these. there you go like these but i want the background so that i can make my own letters right so i don't have to depend on this person and their pink like what if i want a different looking pink or a different looking or like a blue or like a so i was thinking because i i took notes because i was like i'm gonna learn how to make these stinking letters and i was thinking if you have a font that has like different layers like we were, we were i was showing you earlier you could have a, a, a layer be like gold foil or gold like glitter mm -hmm. and then have one be like this like rug pattern. Maybe that's it. Hello, what's this? Let's look. <laughs> she might have just found it. <laughs> oh, that could work. Yeah. And what you can do, can't you make like, um, like I know Canva has letters. Um, like the frames mm -hmm. and you can put those in there or create your own frames mm -hmm. um simple um yeah. so are you going to download yeah. this yeah 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 so like to have that and what i was thinking was you'd have like the ch chenille ch ch you'd have this the the fabric and then on the the outside of the letter it would be like gold, the gold. or like white. Like I, I really want it to be gold though. My, my brain says it, it needs to be gold. But like you can kind of see it on, I'm assuming that's what these people did. Like this gold. I want to find one that's like kind of close up that you can see. Like like this would be the Ch Chanel or sh the, the rug carpet thing. And then the outside, this white bit. How do you spell it? It depends on who you ask. <laughs> I spelled it C H E N I L E, but they spelled it C H E N I L L E. Should Chanel 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 Chanel. It's a Chanel. <laughs> okay, so there is some images in Canva. Some. Oh, oh, you were, that's why I thought you were asking to judge me, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> there is some, but I'm probably spelling it totally wrong. No. Oh, look at that. Boom. That looks like a carpet. That looks like yeah. a carpet to me. <laughs> like it, it does. This looks like but yeah, actually, there isn't the bigger it gets, the more it just looks like rice. Yeah. So I think creative fabric would be the best place to find that. 
Chris's rise. Yeah. Yeah, because I had to run to Canva. Sorry, I had to run to see. Look, here's that Chanel, Chanel plant. Ch Hold on. How do you pronounce? Bet you guys didn't know you were going to learn this today, did you? Chanel. Chanel. That's what it's saying. Chanel. Chanel. Right. Chanel. How do you pronounce chenille fabric? Oh, that guy, I don't want to listen to you. Mm -mm. <coughs> All right. So that's fine. Chenille. Chenille. But right there, you have all the colors. Might as well just not even well just think that. twice. Right. Just do it. I can dig it. All right. That's happening today. All right. No, no. I'm working on farm things today. Pam, I don't have time for this. Sorry. Gosh. Sorry. But could you imagine farm. how much money I would make? Oh, my gosh. If I posted. Well, I don't have a font. I'd have to make a font. I don't want to do that. That's a lot of work. Like, like what do you, you what what's going in your head right now? I want to hear it. Like if you make uh, letters for like bulletin boards, mm -hmm. bulletin board letters mm -hmm. out of these chenille mm -hmm. letters, and then people could buy them in different colors, or you could do like a rainbow yourself. You could make different words out of these chenille letters, and you could have it be like a rainbow set, or like a whatever the pink and like you could just pick a a color like a what is that called <laughs> a color scheme just pick a color scheme like um let's see chenille chenille letters color scheme just google that like look at that you could have these four color three colors you could pick these ones, although I probably wouldn't do this one because this one's very clearly somebody who's also on Teachers Pay Teachers. But you know, like you could just. I hear you, girl. Pick some I hear words. you. How about this pastel rainbow color palette. Look at that. You could do these. Bada bing, bada boom. Girl. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> Bingo, bango, dishes are done. That's what. <laughs> we say in my house <laughs> mostly because i never do dishes oh unless so we're past eight o'clock how are you doing good i'm so motivated to do this thing oh my gosh can we talk about let's talk let's talk about this i got in a fight with my husband about uh i didn't get it we had a conversation Did you want this recorded yeah it's okay fine. cool just want to yeah. make sure just want to make sure uh we were talking about getting stuff done and I was like, I'm going to try single tasking this week. So instead of, because I am a multitasker and multitasking is uh, imploding my business. It's not working. I, I can't do it. I have to do single tasking. But um, I was like, I'm going to work on like one thing until it's, it's done. And then I will do other things. And I was like, it's so challenging for my brain because like right now, I'm working on, um, I'm working on farm things, farm, farm, farm. And, and stuff. Yep. Um, so on my to-do list is like, I have to make these farm lacing cards, which you saw them on my Canva. They're there. They're there. Uh, they're there. They're cute. They're adorable. Oh, I see them. Yes, yeah. I do. Um, so I need to make those. And <laughs> While I was making them, I was like, oh my gosh, I need to finish working on these bookmark instructions because um, I have somebody who uh, is helping me with crafts. And I was like, I need to have the specific instructions so they know how to make them so that they can take the pictures for me so it looks nice. And I was like, so my brain was just like, let's do that really quick. And then we'll come back to the lacing cards because that's what my brain does. And he's like, oh, you just make yourself a list. Just make you yourself know. a list. Do you know what distracts me on my list? The list. All the other things on the list. Yes. I'm like, oh, yes, I need to do these lacing cards. But look at these bookmark instructions. I could finish that. And like evidence would suggest it takes about an hour. But in my brain, it's like, that's like a five minute task. I could do that. And he's like, just make a list. 
he just makes it sound so easy right him with his his normal person brain like how cool is that oh i have this list and then he's like oh i just go and i do stuff and then when i come back i'm like oh here's my list i'll just work on my list it's right here it's like oh wow how cool is that i (laughs) my list distracts me from my list so (laughs) and you have a couple lists like like you have a couple of Uh, hold on let's just be real I have lists. Right. Upon lists. Upon lists. I made right. a I made a diagram of how to Your do list? this bookmark <laughs> on my list. Yeah. And then I have and then <laughs> and then I have lists in my lists. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so not productive. I should just make a list. So <clears throat> if you have a normal person brain. Just do this. When, when Lynn, somebody, do you have a list? If you have a list, does Lynn have a list? <laughs> Thirty. I, oh, that's not her list. She's lying. She's, She's not. lying. She's not. She's not. She's lying. I also have a list about batch slapping. I, I have a list now too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm gonna will i find list. that list when i need that list that is the biggest question absolutely not you know because i tend to throw away my list after a week or two weeks of being throw on my desk like list oh i've done that no i haven't i haven't i cannot throw away lists i have lists i have a i have a basket of lists well because when we are moving yeah, we were moving, and I was like, I can't, leave, I can't leave these lists behind. Like, I, you have the, you have lists from when you moved. Yeah. Oh, this is scary. Yeah, I have Memphis lists here in Knoxville. Yeah, yeah. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> I should go through them. That should be yeah. on my list after I single task all these farm things. Right. Well, we should probably wrap it up. <laughs> Let me stop sharing. So we could have this conversation. I'm sorry. With our four people that we had. Our four people. Just get cat. It's summertime. People aren't around that much because they, they they're aren't. doing things. Yeah. I love it. It's the perfect time to get ahead on your business if it you really is. Have no children. <laughs> your really children, is. you are busy. <laughs> or you should be. And if you're not, then <laughs> 